Olá chicos e chicas, sou a Erika B, hoje para ter outro lado, estou aqui na Boi e basicamente eu agora vim para documentar minha vida. Olá chicos e chicas, meu nome é Erika B, hoje para ter outro lado, estou aqui na Boi e para ter outro lado, estou aqui na Boi e para ter outro lado, estou aqui na Boi e para ter outro lado. So thank you for tuning into this channel. Um, like I said, this is a channel where basically I'm documenting my life and sharing with you all. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I tint my eyebrows and how I would tint my other clients' eyebrows. Um, when I do my clients, I do use pure henna, raw, organic henna. But for me personally, because I like it to just, I don't know, I just like it to like stain real good. I do use um, an actual tint, a dye. Um, so these are my natural eyebrows. You guys, some people always say like, do you actually even have like those eyebrows or are they just completely filled in? No, let me, let me, let me let you see. They are thick. They are thick. See them? See them real life? real life i'm not sick guys i just woke up so excuse the way my face look but my puff slander though let me let y'all see my puff also this hair that i cut up at the front you couldn't even tell i make it work make it work make it work 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 so you all excuse the makeup of my bathroom i had to switch the camera so i could be right in front of the mirror so i can see what i'm doing and not look like a fool on camera um, so you're going to probably see the back of me in the back because my mirror is there. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest to keep it in this direction. You just, just see my little bra strap. Um, so the first thing I did was um, I brushed my teeth. Um, and then I washed my face with this oil-free acne wash. You guys know you can catch it at the Dollar Tree. And um, you can get it in the refillable one or you can get the pump. So when I buy one pump, I just keep buying the refillable one. This has been working for me for years. This is what I use to keep my face clear. Um, you know, I just brush my teeth. I use my brush that I got from Ross. Um, I think I did this in the haul, so check out that haul. Um, and you have a plethora of, in, of tools you need, like a, a zoom in mirror. That's why it looks all weird. A zoom in mirror. Um, I use Q tips. Um, coconut oil or some type of oil for soothing um i use uh cotton balls um i have some vaseline over there i have a spoolie i have a um, eyebrow pencil the spoolie is from revlon my sister gave it to me i love the brush on it but the little pencil that's on the other side i don't really care for um and then this um eyebrow pencil is from color mates eyeliner pencil in the color black um, and then I just have um, an angle brush from my Wish set. Yes, I still have that set. Um, and other than that, I just have some black powder and some thread. So this is going to be a video of showing you how to apply, how to remove. I have stuff in my nose. Excuse me. The camera picks up everything, guys. And yes, I'm going to just clean it on camera because, you know... You did not already saw it. It's no reason for me to try to hide it. I'm not sick, guys. I just don't know why my nose likes to run in the morning. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So I have a clean, clear, beautiful, natural face. Hey, girl. Hey, this is my face. Let's jump into this. So, the first thing I do is, like I said, take my glasses off. I've already spooled out my eyebrows. They're clean. My face is clean. There's nothing on my face at all. This is my bare and naked face. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the actual kit I use. This is the um, Gold Freud Tint Kit for Spot Coloring. It says it's for spot coloring, but I tinted my whole freaking eyebrow with this. I've used this kit like... I want to say a little over five times already so I've kind of gotten the hang and how much developer and how much product I use so let's go jump right into it um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I set up everything okay guys so I hope you guys can see me I'm gonna just be doing everything right here this is the kit and in the kit it comes with a little bowl for measurement it comes with the developer 
as you can see I've been using it I've used it about five times already and it comes with instructions how to use everything um, it comes with a little like thing talking about growing eyebrows and eyelashes um, it comes with a little brush <coughs> Ooh, bless me um, excuse me um, it comes with um, the hair color capsules like I said I've used quite a bit so it's a bit empty over here but yeah so basically um, for the kit you for the dye job you basically use one I use one tablet uh, for each application um, and that's not including like if I have to re go over it so I just use that same um, that same formula I've already, uh, I have already made up and then I just usually measure the developer I realize that the more developer I use the more darker and more the color lasts like I've let it it has lasted for me the most of three weeks and it's only supposed to last about two weeks so let me go ahead and get my bowl the first thing I do is I do pour the developer in there like I said I was just shaking it up you know making sure everything mixes together and I'm gonna go ahead and take my little bowl here and I'm just gonna pop some in there and I usually eyeball it now that I've been doing it for a while I just use enough like to really cover the bottom and then if I feel like I need a little bit more I just sprinkle a little bit more in there so I use enough to cover the bottom that's my measurement like I said I looked at the vet measurements I think it said like one fourth one eighth girl I ain't had time to all that after a while you just start knowing how to do it then I do take one capsule like they do say I don't use no more than one capsule and usually I cut it with scissors or pierce it some way but for the sake of the camera video I'm just gonna twist it a bit and uh, see if I can get it off without having to go get scissors cuz I'm really not trying to go get scissors not today yeah it won't pierce for me let me see if I have some scissors in this drawer here yes I have scissors yay okay so I just usually make a little pierce and this does get everywhere but if you make a small pierce it will just like snip it and then you just pour the powder can you see the powder going in there you just pour the powder in there it's taking a bit to come out but when you start squeezing it like I am it will come out <laughs> and there you guys can start seeing it I don't want to tip it over I need the powder okay so once I think it's all out which is not honestly the capsule looks super clear and not as dark so that's how you know if it's all out so the capsule is now clear or somewhat I think I have a little bit more product left in there Ooh, okay it just hit the floor but you guys saw what it looked like the little capsule here let me pick it up this is how the capsule look after you pour out your product in there like I said I do have a little bit left in there I just can't get it out but it looks clear and I just wipe my hands off because I don't want anything to stain in the bathroom and so yeah this is how it looks before mixing with the powder so now I go ahead and I'm gonna take the um, the little angle brush it came with and I actually use that to mix with now it says not to use a metal bowl in the instructions so try not to let the metal portion of your um, brush touch your product so it just comes in this little thing I just pull it out it's a really good angle brush though it's super hard so then I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing mix 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 mezcla 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 and it will start to look like a brown mixture like I said I do not add any more of the capsule so if it does not look as brown as I want it I um, just really scrape on the sides 
and some of the brown product is left in there from the previous application so then it will slowly start to turn and it should be like a thick it's almost like when you use henna on your hair it should be that consistency and but it, if it's too water you need to add more of the capsule because i don't like it super watery it's hard to apply that way that's it mixed up shouldn't like tip over or fall out this is how it looks can you guys see it yeah just mix 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 get the sides use all of the product okay and then I just get like a little tissue to lay this on because my bathroom is white as you can see white and blue you don't want to get any of that on your counter or anything like that so I'm just wiping off the excess and laying the brush down like so if you guys can see okay so then I'm going to go ahead and zoom back on my face so you guys can see the application okay guys so we're back onto my face um, I do recommend if this is your first time doing it like when I first did it I actually used the pencil and kind of outlined the shape of my brow and then um, went ahead with the process but now I've been doing it like five six times your girl knows how her eyebrows look like I like them a little thick thick a little a little slim thick I got something in my eye y'all I just woke up so excuse the way I look the way I sound everything just excuse me period if I start tearing up that's because I'm tired my eyes are weak okay okay um but let's go ahead and apply the job so i usually do my worst my quote-unquote worst eyebrow first but then it's ever been my nice eyebrow so this is my less thicker one at the bottom versus this eyebrow is really full at the bottom and it's a little bit thinner up here and then this eyebrows a little thin up at the front but this one's thick so it's like the opposite so i start in my most sparsey area which is going to be right up in here and I'm actually not going to use my iPad as my mirror because you will have effed up eyebrows. So I'm going to use my mirror here. So you're going to see me look here, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it on camera. So I have this little zoom in mirror where I can see, you know. So I do start outlining first. And then you'll start seeing me fill in a bit. And I don't know, the recommended time is like three to four minutes. But honestly, I leave this one for like 20 minutes. And it just gives me a. A so much of a darker longer lasting job and you see like I start applying like as if you fill it in your eyebrow and then I'll start applying um, like with the the full brush like this make the little hairs in the front y'all and I play really close to detail because you know when it starts getting thick you really can't go back in and really you know line it up so to say when you first apply it so like I'm doing a lot of lining and getting the shape and then I'll go back in and fill in a lot darker and you're gonna see me come down a bit more because I am trying to um, grow this side of my that bottom part of my eyebrow in So guys, the next video I'll probably drop after this one is going to be about my relationship. Um, some things have just been going on to the point where I'm just like, I might as well go ahead and just talk about it. So um, I talked to my boyfriend about it and he's like, yeah, just go ahead and talk about it because, you know, 
it'll clear the air about a lot of questions people do have and a lot of concerns people have and if I just go ahead and do a video I mean I can kill every I can kill two birds and one stone like I could just get it all out there I mean you're not gonna be so intense like we're gonna know everything like it's not my child's not gonna become that I mean it's to document my life but it's not gonna just center around my relationship so I definitely don't plan for that to happen I mean there may be vlogs and stuff and certain things like that but I really don't want my channel to become one of those channels not saying that people that do that that's a bad thing if they like it I love it but for me I don't want my channel to center around that because what happens when you guys break up like if there was just people there for your uh videos about you and your boyfriend or you and your girlfriend then like um I'm not saying like who are you gonna have after that but like is anyone gonna be engaged in what you're actually talking about without your guy or your girl so no I don't plan for my channel to become one of those channels you won't get the tea on everything that's going on with my life because I feel like social media and the internet kills relationships so but when y'all do this video I was making like some stuff on snapchat I usually make a lot of like my content on snapchat and then just upload it to YouTube and I was wild and like it was so funny to watch it because I slowed the audio down I was like this had me weak y'all but y'all see how it's coming through like the eyebrows I'm trying to look at the camera and do it but I'm really not trying to mess with my eyebrows so that's about one application I'm now just going in and doing the little details because y'all gonna see this this gonna look real good oops I gotta fix that especially when I be doing this like with the sparsing it out like making like the little hairs it really makes a difference it really does die like that Put a little bit more in that area because that's a little bit of a sparsy area so this will answer the question about everybody asking about my eyebrows I do have really thick hair on my eyebrows like and it stands straight up like that so I've just been at first I used to thin them out but now I wear my eyebrows thick like that and you're gonna see me tint down here just a bit because I am trying to fill in that area, but I would not be, um, I don't like to cut it off. Like you're trying to get like this eyebrow and you guys see what I'm trying to do. Like, and that's why I don't put so much tint there, but it's like a shadow. So I know not to cut it, you know, when I'm threading or when I'm um, doing anything else. That's what an eyebrow looks like that. And I don't really have like a really sharp tail. So honestly my tails are like that. Like it's just spoolied out. I mean not spoolied out. It's just kind of like there. And it doesn't have like a sharp little crisp at the end. Because I don't really shape a tail. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit and let it get hard. And then I will come back and do the second application. I usually do two applications. Um, but I do like to let it dry a bit in between. So I know that the first coat got into the hair. Is it someone calling me? No. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go find me some plantains. And then maybe at least cut them up and start prepping like breakfast or brunch now. Because I woke up like 9.30. But then I'm like, I'm in the mood for video making. So... Now it's probably like 10.30. So let me stop. And let's go um, make breakfast together, guys. With this little puff. Oh, my goodness. Like, I can't believe, like, all this hair up here is cut. Like, do you guys want me to pull some of this out? You guys thought I was kidding when I said I cut it? Do y'all see that? That was new growth. You, I mean, I see that I need to cut some more. Like, I do, to be honest. Which I would get to. And it probably is all this. But imagine all that was straight thick hair. And it's now down to this. You can really see like. The difference. And so those little ends will be getting cut. My next wash day. I just cut off the bulk of it. But lately I've just been wearing it in twist outs. And twists. And then I take it out and wear it in a bun like this. Um, but it hasn't been hard to deal with it. I mean. I just wear it up, you know, 
But let me get off this camera so y'all can go see me cook.
okay guys so i have come back um it's more than like 10 15 minutes um i actually started making breakfast um cleaning up the kitchen and the bathroom so now it's about um 11 32 so more like 30 to 40 minutes later um but it did go ahead and get hard it only takes about 10 or 15 minutes you can start seeing like it's like super hard not smudging off on my hand so it is time to remove the first application um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take some um, cotton balls I actually think I got these from Walgreens they're Studio 35 Beauty super jumbo ones I do like this to do my um, face with because they're thicker and bigger than if you were to go to Dollar Tree I do have some Dollar Tree ones I use those for like my fingers and stuff but these are bigger they're good for the fringe about the size of your eye so I'm gonna go ahead and just take some water out of my water bottle here because I'm not in the bathroom. I have to improvise here. Just put a little bit of that water. And try not to waste it on your bed like I did. But just take some of that water um, and soak that cotton ball with water. This is actually my drinking water bottle. It don't really matter. It's not like there's anything on the cotton ball. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it off. Usually I would use warm water. This is ice cold water because of course I was drinking it. But water does its job. So you can already see that it's tinted. And because I do fill my eyebrows in, they don't need to be like black like, but I do like them pretty dark to begin with. So that's the start of one eyebrow. Let me see. I actually may go back in and retin it, but we'll see. Sometimes I'm lazy and I just do one application and I'm like, oh, why didn't this last? And I'm like, because you didn't do two applications. That's why it did not last. So that's with one application. Can you guys see my bro? That's water dripping in my eye. So as you can see, this is my eyebrow. If somebody wants to do the little, is this your eyebrow test? Yes, it is. And you can see how much fuller it is, you know. And when I spool it out, I mean, sometimes I walk out the house with my eyebrows like this, like I do. Cause this is my natural eyebrows. They're not as full and as dark. I do tell people I do tint them and I do fill them in, but I have a lot of hair on my eyebrow to begin with. They're just super light. So, let's do the other one. Let me um, wet the other side of this cotton ball. Can we just say that the sun is giving me all type of life? Um... Honestly, if I was in the bathroom, y'all would have just wet a towel and did this, but like I said, I'm lazy and I moved to the room and yeah, this looks ice cold. So cold. And I rub pretty hard, like, so to get all the tin out. I mean, to get all, like, the dye and stuff off. Because you're just supposed to wash it off in warm water. And it's supposed to leave, like, a stain. And sometimes when I'm just, like, like touching up, I just tint, like, parts that's faded. I don't usually do the whole eyebrow again. Okay, and let me just take a dry cotton ball to dry my eyebrows. These look so good. Like I like them just like this too. Cause I actually wear my own eyebrows out sometimes, guys. I do. I'm not always slage eyebrow. So this is the first application. Let me let me zoom in for you. First application. Like I said, I'm not gonna put anything soothing on there yet. Because I am going to go ahead and do a second application. 
These are the eyebrows. I do have a pimple there that's not from the tint, guys. Um, and I do get some redness. As you can see, I do get a bit of redness. Um, that's also because I thread my eyebrows. I, you know, do a lot to my eyebrows. So they're going to just do that naturally. Can we just say that this lighting is making me look so cute? But honestly, guys, let me stop playing. Because I'm ready to eat. Um, but um, I'm going to just do another application. Um, my little stuff didn't dry up, did it? Nope, it didn't. It's starting to go. So when it starts to dry up like this, you guys can't tell because this consistency looks the same. But it starts to harden up a bit. I just add a little bit more developer. But because you don't want to add water because it'll dilute the the formula so I just added just a little bit more developer um I haven't got any bad reactions from using this my sister was the first one to use it and I think honestly I think she kept it on too short like she did the recommended amount which was five minutes but I told her the next time to try it a little bit longer maybe it'll stick and then also she didn't do a reapplication also she keeps her eyebrows pretty thin a lot thin than I like mine but a lot more thin than mine so you know she may have not seen a drastic change like mine I can really tell you know all this little pimple by my eyebrow getting my eyes um but I can really tell so just add a little bit more developer mix it up and it'll give you back to that consistency so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second application and I'll be back
So now I'm just gonna. So you all, I just want to pop in here really quickly. The footage that was supposed to be after that last clip was actually supposed to be me showing you guys how I fill in my natural eyebrows every day, but that footage footage is lost. So I greatly apologize for that inconvenience. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Adios, chicos y chicas. Te amo.